Welcome, welcome, welcome. I guess it's going to, um, it, it's a, it's a Tuesday. <laughs> so we don't normally do Jewel Loom School lives on Tuesdays. Uh, we do them on uh, Thursday at four o'clock, but hey, <laughs> it's Jules and, um, and I'm here on a Tuesday and I'm so happy to see all of you. And for those of you that don't know me, I'm Juliana Avlar, the inventor of the original blue jewel loom. Just so happened to have one right here. I was taping my how-to segments for uh, my latest workshop, the blue Chalcedony diamond cut bracelet. It's so incredibly delish. I think there's about six spots left in that workshop. And, um, and so, yeah, so I'm, I'm the mama of the original blue jewel loom. And I also have an entire line of uh, sustainable Baltic birch wood looms that we're actually going to be working with today. So I've got my gorgeous, look at her. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I've rolled over the, the hemp here, but we're going to be working with, let me see if I can't get it in the frame with the large wisdom warrior. Absolutely love working with this loom. Um, in fact, I just realized it's her birthday. Well, coming up in July, it's her birthday birthday, <laughs> but it's been 22. So it came out in July of 21. So yeah, so she's like two years old. So hopefully she doesn't have any tantrums. <laughs> that would not be good. <laughs> but yeah, so we have the, the original jewel loom and I have a whole entire line of Bal uh, Baltic birch wood looms, and they're just so incredibly fun and inspiring to work with. Um, all of them are portable and um, very easy to use. Tons of education on the YouTube channel. And we also have a free Facebook group where people share um, their projects and they help one another. And it's really just a beautiful, beautiful group of people. And so um, Joan, our lovely Joan is in the background. She's looking very angelic. <laughs> she she had quite a big day today. She can come on when we're um, almost finishing up and and she'll let you know about her day because it's quite quite inspiring. And I'm sure she got some here's 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 a little uh, sneak at where she might have been. She, I'm gonna say that she got a lot of color inspiration. And okay. Okay. So we'll let her, we'll let her fill you in on that when we're all done here. But today I just wanted to get on, um, I've been promoting some assortments, some new assortments, five millimeter assortments. I love five millimeter fire polish beads. They're, they're not a four and they're not a six. <laughs> they're like, they're literally right in the middle. They're like a smidge bigger than a four millimeter and a smidge smaller than a six. And so um, they're just really fun. And any time that I can uh, get my hands on some of them, I do. And then I share that with you. So there's three different assortments. I'm going to be working with the 29 strand assortment today. And by the way, just between me and you, or you and I, proper English, <laughs> um, 29 strands. I just put the price for this show at $26 plus shipping and handling. I know Joan just fell off her chair. <laughs> Joan just fell off her chair because you should see here. I could see her on the bottom of the screen. So um, that is like amazing, amazing opportunity that puts your strands, What you know, like what, 80, is it like 80 cents? No, I mean, it's like it's good. It's a good price. So, um, yes. And the, and the colors are just absolutely gorgeous. In fact, Joan, do you want to bring the overhead really quick here? And I'll give you a sneak peek at, um, the, there we go. And so, so the ones that I have cut off are, um, the palette that I'm going to use today. So I have seven of the colors that I'm going to be using on a wrap. And so I went with that um, summery pink kind of cruise ship, you know, day at the beach, or maybe you're going to Mexico this summer. I love Mexico, love Puerto Rico. Um, you know, anything with an O I'm in. <laughs> and so this would be a really fun, a fun palette to work with for, um, that type of vacationing. And over here are the other, uh, strands. So you can see there's like a really cool, this white, this, I have never seen such a, I mean, it's like a true 
white bead. It's really, really beautiful. Um, all of these gorgeous blues. And then you have like a really cool neutral. There's some copper, um, a topaz. And then over in here, there's more metallics with a gorgeous red and a blue and a gray. And then this green palette is really delightful. I really, really love that as well. So 29 strands for this show. I've got them at $26 plus shipping and handling. Um, there's also a uh, an assortment of 12 and we're calling it the sparkle because those 12 strands are very sparkly. And then the other one has 10 strands and it is more of a neutral palette. And I'm going to give you, I'm going to give you a little insider, insider note. If you want to bring me up, Joan, I'm going to tell you a little secret. Okay. So here's the little secret. When you place your order for whatever, for whatever. Okay. Um, you are going to have an opportunity to buy the 10 strands at, I think it's like 33% off. So it's a little nugget. You process your order, right? And you're like out the door. And then there's, there's a little thing that comes up and says, but wait, <laughs> Do you want these for 33% off? And it's a steal. It's a total steal. So whatever you buy, whether it's the 29 assortment, the 12 assortment, the Wisdom Warrior, you're going to get an opportunity to buy that 10 pack for a discounted price. And I would not pass it up. These are things that they come, I grab them. And when they go, I have no idea. Like it's been, it's been several months. Correct me if I'm wrong, Joan, since we've had, um, an assortment. Like we had those three millimeter ones for a hot minute, but when the fives came like several months ago, I haven't had them since then. So this is one of those, those opportunities. So that's just a little secret secret. Okay. I'm going to um, go ahead and I'm going to move these guys over to the side. I do want to let you know, I'm working with the wildfire. Um, it literally is the only beading thread that I really have ever used. I don't really use any other beading thread. Wildfire has always been in my wheelhouse. Um, I use the 0 0.006. I love all the colors and it's what I have always found to work the best with the Jewel Loom products and the designer looms, the wood designer looms. So um, so wildfire, yay. And did I just lose my overhead? It looks like it might've just lost my overhead. So, um, before I go and do that, we'll come back. I want to talk to you about him. Teak. Him. Teak is a company. H E M P is in Paul. T is in Tom. I Q U E. Okay. Him. Teak is the brand of hemp cord that I carry and that I highly recommend. Why is that? Because it is sustainable. It is eco-friendly. It is organic. It is designed in the U S um, the family, it's a family owned company. They are delicious. I love them. They are they and they love jewel loom and myself. And so that's like, you know, the, the butter icing and, I don't use any other hemp cord. So I'm a hemp teak girl. I, you know, excuse me, but I need a t-shirt. <laughs> Claire or somebody from hemp teak. <laughs> I need a, I'm a hemp teak girl. Okay. <laughs> but yeah, I love that product. And so today I'm going to be working with the 0.5 hemp cord in the dark purple. It's absolutely gorgeous. I also carry it in the one. And so the one is the one point is more is thicker than the 0.5. So the 0.5 is thinner. I am a big fan of the thicker uh, hemp cord, but a lot of people love, love, love. I have no idea what's going on over there. It's talking a lot. Uh, love the 0.5. And so you can get the hemp teak um, in the jewel loom shop. There's a bazillion, uh, they come in six yards 
And typically, you know, you're warping with like, say, two yards. So you should be able to get at least, I would say, three good projects out of one uh, one package. So shout out to Hemtique. We love you. Thank you for being um, so supportive of the Jewel Loom brand. And we look forward to um, collaborating and using more of their product because they also have delicious products that will work with the Sun Weaver and the other weaving looms that I do. So without further ado, um, I do <laughs> have to figure out what in the world. I don't know how. Let's see. Okay. It looks like we're back. But we're not in the right position. There we go. Yeah, that was awfully strange. Okay. Okay, Joan, how am I doing with vo uh, voice and everything else? Can you hear me? Okay, all is well in the world. So we talked about the large wisdom warrior. Um, when I am done, Joan, remind me to give our other little secret on the discount code for the large wisdom warrior. Because we have a special code that I want to share with everybody. And I don't typically do that. And I'm going to. Okay, so let me break out. Um, I think I told you everything I'm using. Um, I'm wearing 810. <laughs> Let's just be real here. I'm wearing some really cool lipstick. Oh, with the price tag on there. How much did I possibly pay for this? No, it's just one of those silly locks. Anyway, this is one of my favorites. It's, is it L'Oreal? I don't know. Anyway, it's 810. I think it's called Sandstone. Um, and so I don't know why I'm telling you that because it was on my desk and I'm just sharing that because you could be saying to yourself, gosh, her lips look great. I want to weave with that color on my lips. I don't know. Maybe I could be crazy. <laughs> All right. So let's see what's going on. Jeanette, let me tell you, girlfriend, that bracelet that you did made my heart so happy, so incredibly beautiful. The palette inspired me to actually come on and do this. I was like, I need that kind of sparkle in my life. And, um, and so I thought, oh, the five millimeter beads will just be amazing. So Jeanette made, um, uh, a bracelet, uh, a cuff, and it's one of the projects that you can see in the free uh, Facebook gr group. And so this is what's happening. You know, people are making things and they share them. And so a um, big shout out to you, girlfriend. I love, love, love it. It was so, so good. All right. Um, I'm going to stay front and, and center here for a hot minute before I go overhead. I've already attached the hemp to the button. Okay. And just like when we're working with our jewel loom, you know how I've talked about how the knot should be facing us so that there's no, um, no way that the tension will shift because if the knot is not in the front closest to our body looking at us and we don't pull tight enough, um, that can make your first, your first warp like really wonky. Okay. So the knot is like, it's right under there. I think you can kind of see it and it's facing me. Now I'm, there's no reason for me to pull the hemp all the way over here to the side and start, you know, like start all, all the way over here. I'm only going to be using like a smidge of space on the warrior loom. So I'm actually going to just let it naturally fall which it looks like it's just about basically in the middle there. And what ends up happening is it's just going to literally follow the sword all the way down. So that pretty much is like your middle. And then with the five mil with the five millimeter, with the 0.5, um, it, it doesn't necessarily um, sit totally into the groove. It, it sits mostly on top of the groove, where the one definitely only sits on the groove because you know those grooves are are very tiny and they typically accommodate a beading thread like wildfire so uh don't worry if your 
0.5 doesn't fit into the groove, that's just normal. So I'm just going to eyeball it and I'll just keep it in alignment with my, you know, with the sword there. And then I wrap it around that back button and I'm keeping the tension and I like to wrap around twice. I, it's just what I do with this particular loom and we need to skip three. And I think I eyeballed that pretty good, but let me count here. And then we're just going to lay it down in the fourth. Yeah, it looks pretty good. The one thing demonstrating on the large wisdom warrior is like, this is when, you know, I miss my days at QVC, <laughs> jewelry, television, home shopping network, shop at home, Aline's creative living, because we had like, you know, camera equipment for days. We had overheads, you know, just millions of dollars worth of cameras, but we do what we can, you know, we do what we can here. So I'm going to now secure it. So I'm just going to wrap it around the top button. And the goal is to basically tie off. So I'm going to swing her around and just make sure that Nice. Okay. So I'm just going to do that like one more time. I know you can't really see what I'm doing, but I'm just basically making a knot. I'm going underneath the warps, very similar to what we do with the jewel loom and any of the other looms. And we just don't want to lose um, the tension. And so I have to, whoopsie. Okay. This is why I have those flat nose handy because they just really, um, help. <laughs> okay. So hopefully I didn't lose. Nope. I didn't lose my tension. Awesome sauce. And I'm just going to come around here and tie these two guys together. Okay. Whoops. You want to be careful. I mean, you know, this is a wood product. Um, which by the way, you know, Robert and I were talking the other day and he was like, Jules, you know, if anybody ever has any problem, I hope they know that they can, you know, they can let us know and, um, you know, we'll get whatever it might be fixed. So, um, I know, you know, that about the original jewel loom, you know, like if you ever have problems with the original blue jewel loom, beetle on has been so amazing to replace the loom. Um, but we do it on the wood side too. So if you ever have any issues, um, you know, don't be shy. You just let me know. And then, and then we'll take it from there. I think one time <laughs> when we learned uh, way in the beginning, Kelly paint, Kelly, I always talk about Kelly is like the godmother of the large wisdom warrior, Kelly Hawkins. She just, um, she was one of the first to just like really embrace it. She, she painted her loom, but she used, um, what we think was water-based, paints and that didn't work. <laughs> and so, but anyway, we sent her a new one. And so you don't want to use like a water-based product because it's wood. Um, okay. So I've got my loom all nice and warped. We just did two because I'm just going to make it easy peasy on all of us, including myself. And I'm just going to do one, um, one row for a wrap bracelet by the way, that's what I'm making. I don't even think I said that. This is not the one I'm making. I just want to show you in case you're like, well, what is a wrap bracelet? I'm sure that that is a common jewelry thing, but just, you know, I should just tell you. So it's a wrap bracelet where it's multiple layers and, you know, you can do all kinds of fun things where you're putting, you know, mini beads in a row. I'm just going to do one. Again, my goal is to hopefully get this mostly done. Um, and I'm going to roll up my sleeves because I mean business. Um, let me see. Let me see. Okay. Also, I'm going to, it's so funny. This is really, it's really got good warp. Um, I'm going to do something fun and I hope I know what I'm doing. <laughs> I do know what I'm doing. I'm going to actually sew one of the vintage buttons. I added these to the shop, by the way, they're in there. These are vintage glass buttons. Those of you in the creative soul workshop are going to remember these. They're, I mean, they're beautiful. Um, they're very, um, you know, they're old, 
they're vintage, they're glass. And so they're not cheap, but I did put them into the shop two for $10, which they actually retail for $8 a piece. That's what they typically go for. So two for 10 is like, get on it, girl. All right. Uh, I just, I keep hitting this and it sounds so beautiful. All right. So I'm going to position myself so we can hopefully see. Um, it's always interesting to try to get, I feel like I should probably be up on a pillow. Oh, that's right. And, and that's right, Joan, Robert took care of it right away. I remember that now. So let's see. Um, you want to just bring, don't get rid of me just yet. Can you just bring the overhead up so I can see what's happening? Okay, there we go. Awesome. So earlier when I was looking at this, I, I took the wrap that I had made already and I laid it out on the Wisdom Warrior. And I could see that if I started beading where the cross is and all the way down to the end of the book, um, that would be a good, that would be a good spot, right? And that is a 20 inch, 20 inch wrap. Yeah, no, it's a 20. It's probably more like a 21 with the loop for the button. So like I said, I have this idea to sew the button on and I'm going to go ahead and take the end of my, I think you can get, you can let my side go now, Joan, and that might help with the picture. Okay. Fantastic. So do I need it? There we go. So I'm going to take the wildfire and I'm just going to do a very simple little knot here and it's right where the cross is. And I'm going to bring the needle and thread so that everything is over here to the left side of me. And I just want to give you some, some idea of how things are set up. Um, the loom, okay, this is my right hand. And this is my left hand. And the loom is like tucked underneath my arm. And I would say that about less than half of her is hanging off of the table's edge. You know, I might be able to, let me see. Do you see how that's, so if you look down here, this is like under, her, her face is in my armpit. <laughs> Let's just be real. Her face is in my armpit and then the rest of her body's kind of like hanging off, but that, you know, she's so long, but that's how I work with her. So if you've ever been like, holy cow, how would I work with that thing? It's so long. Um, <laughs> that's, I don't, I have to think that I'm probably not the only person that does that. So, okay. Um, so my question to myself is, and I just need to get my thoughts here, how I would think, okay, I think, mm, am I coming under? Okay, this is new for me. So let me just see for giggles. I'm going to pick up two Ados. And I'm also going to put some light on the situation. Okay, that's good. Is that okay, Joan, the light? Is it? Does it look okay on camera? Okay. So I'm going to pick up and I'm underneath. Do, is that what I want to do? I think it's what I want to do. So just bear with me because I'm trying to. <laughs> so I want to use the button as my, um, you know, part of my clasp. And okay, so two eightos. So I probably should have, so if you do that and you come back, I'm going to come back through. Okay. So I just did two, two eightos. Okay. And then what I want to do 
see, I think I have to stay on the top for this because I want this to be, hmm. Okay, I'm just gonna put the needle. So these buttons have, you know, they have a hole. And let's just get that threaded. And we're gonna sit it on here. All right, and I'm just looking at her little bottom. And I want it's like I'm sewing, I it's like I'm sewing on a button. So what I need to do is I want to come under the warp and then I want to go back through the hole. So this is going to be one of those patient fumbleina kind of just let it work with you. I'm getting caught on the table over here. Okay, cool. Okay, there we go. So I just wanted to make like a little bed for the button. And that's why I added the, um, that's why I added those two Ados. And so I think what I'm going to do at this point, because I can always go back and secure it a little better. I just wanted to give you a visual and kind of like a quick, a quick idea. So Jeanette says, I go over and under when doing these. Okay, yeah, that's what I was visualizing to Jeanette was to, to, um, to do that. But I'm going to go ahead and start with the fire polish. And I'm going to start off with this gorgeous lap. Uh-oh, <laughs> what happened? Did you want both of us on there, Joan? There we go. Okay. <laughs> that was like being at the bar at two o'clock in the morning <laughs> and all the lights come on. Okay. So I just picked up um, a five millimeter and I'm going to have to scooch it under here and then I'm going to, and then I'm going to push it up underneath the button. So you're not going to see it just yet. Hold on. I've got so much wildfire, by the way, I think I have like a good two yards. Okay, and then I just want to make sure the wildfire is kissed up to that row, and it is. And now you should start to see, because um, I'm going to pick up another one. So we got one hiding underneath there. And these should really, once you get your rhythm, uh-oh, once you get your rhythm going, um, you really should be able to make these awfully quick. Oh, that's so pretty. Okay, I'll bring this up to the camera in just a second. Let me get a couple. I have like seven different um, colors here that I'm working with. Okay. Yeah, the button is really, <laughs> it is really amazing. And I thought, oh, you know what? That'll look really pretty with all of these colors. Um, and so this is my fourth fire polish coming up here. I'm going to do um, seven and then I'm, I'll bring it up to the camera. You know, this is one of those projects where if you are making jewelry and you've got some boutiques this summer, um, you know, some stands, what, wherever your opportunity might be, you know, this will come together really quick for you. And those are the type of projects that, um, you know, you want to make because you want to have those ones where you didn't have like a ton of time invested, but it looks like a million bucks and you can sell them for, you know, a nice price. Work smarter, not harder. <laughs> My 2023 motto. Oh, this is really, okay. Let me get the next two on and then I'll bring it up to the camera so you can really see. It's super pretty. I can't wait to wear this. Okay. 
Oh, and it's really, um, it's really feeling very nice with the hemp. I like the hemp because it's really strong. And so this is my um, number seven right here. And then I'm going to bring it up to the camera. I am working with the pink wildfire, by the way. Jules, I'm just yeah. checking in. I don't know why, but the picture looks a little blurry. Does it? Okay. Let me... Um, Let me see what's going on here. I'll bring it up to the camera and then. Yeah, I wonder if that's um, like the Internet connection. And I'm freezing up a little bit on YouTube. Uh, okay. Can you add a little more light to it, maybe? Because um, I think you asked me about the lighting. Let's see. I don't know if that make a difference. I, I see that the screen is moving slow. Okay. Um, why don't I do what I did the other day and just use the Mac? So I can we can remove... Um, let me bring this down. And then can you remove the overhead and then we'll just um, try like we did the other day? Because this picture looks very clear. Yes or no? Does that look better? Yes. I Wait, just a minute. Let me make it bigger to make sure. Uh, I guess it still looks a little bit blurry, but it's better than it was before. Yeah, that's odd. I don't know. Um, you know, I, you know, currently am by a military base. And so I, I just, I feel like there are times, you know, when. <laughs> Jeanette says it's very clear for her. Okay. Well, so that's what counts. Yes. Okay. So now I'm just going to start repeating the pattern. Um, again, I'm just using seven different colors and whoops, what just happened? Okay. And I'm still working in the same way. I do want to just get my, my hand. Um, okay. So we had... This one is so cool with the stripe going through it. It's like a pink, like a hot pink stripe. It's really pretty. I'm wondering if it would get better if I just check out from the overhead. Do you, do you want me to turn off the overhead? Yeah, just get rid of it. Maybe it will help. I think I have to check out of it though. Here, let me just let me just get out of it and then see if that helps everything. Oh, I can't press in though. I think it's going to end for everybody. Okay, let's see if that helps. Okay, so back to business here. And I really do kind of need to get my, <laughs> I need to put her back underneath my armpit. <laughs> so I do, is that my Padma? Oh my goodness, I miss, um, I think Yannette, were you, um, I think I saw her name come in here. So some of the ladies that were in the check with me, and um, wow, just what a beautiful experience. I'm still dreaming of Prague. I cannot wait to go back. <laughs> okay, and so let's see. My beads kind of got a little wild over here. Oh, it's just so I I hope that um I hope that I'm able to really show you the color palette because it's looking really beautiful.
So the Wisdom Warrior can be weaved on both um, the front and the back. And um, Paula, if I'm not mistaken, and we need to get her on because she had actually figured out how to weave from the front to the back without skipping a beat. And she and I just never got the chance to talk about it. And I really would still love to do that. But um, mostly people have been using the Large Wisdom Warrior for hat bands. Um, we've made some chokers, but the hat bands have been really, really popular. I think I was supposed to do the other color first, but I'm not going to worry about it. <laughs> These are just so incredibly beautiful. I'm going to bring it up to the camera again. I can't get enough of this darn pink, um, this pink bead. I'm so glad that I'm going to have one for my, for my wrist, for my arm candy. Oops. It really was such a great trip. We really just had a phenomenal time. Wow, this is feeling really, really nice. I love that. Let me bring it up to... How's that looking, Joan? It looks good. Okay. Nice. Okay. Okay, so, yeah. I'm going to get this thing out of my face. <laughs> I got the, the Akron mount is like right in my face. So we're going to move that out of the way since we ditched the, uh, the iPhone. Who was it? Was it? Also, Paula, who took her large Wisdom Warrior camping. I feel like it was. You know, while I'm doing this, Joan, it'd be a great time for you to tell your story about what you did today. Okay. Well, we um, had originally planned on going to Dollywood, and okay. but it was like the traffic was really bad. Well, if you drive like you're going into the Dollywood parking lot, but instead of turning, you go straight. You can go to Parrot Mountain, and that's what we decided to do, which is, you know, you get to go in and interact and talk with all these birds and, um, you know, <laughs> not just parrots, but, you know, all these exotic birds. And, oh. you know, seeing all the colorings like Jill. Uh, Jill, sorry. See, I'm calling you Jill this week. <laughs> I called you Jill last week. <laughs> I know. Jill, like Jill said, uh, you know, I, I mean, it's really inspiring, but they are so funny. We've been there before, and they, they you know, they'll, Get on you. At one point, I had um, six birds sitting on me. This is when I was feeding um, this one kind of forget what kind it was, some um, syrupy stuff. And oh. but some of them just got on me just to sit on me. Two of them were using my chest as perches. <laughs> one was uh, two were on my shoulder. One was on my arm, and like three or four of them were drinking out of the cup. <laughs> but yeah, it was fun. Uh-oh, I think Jules froze up. Jules, are you there? Jules? Hope we didn't lose Jules. And due to technical difficulties, the show is temporarily on hold. And and now it's just me. We lost Jules. Hopefully she'll be back. Um, I wasn't planning on it, but I mean, I was. I've been sitting here between showing things, looking at. Um, you know, I had um, ordered these to be sent um, with my Creative Soul box too. And I mean, it's not just for the loom. If you 
do any kind of jewelry making. This is such a good deal. I mean, she's selling them right now. If you buy, I mean, that special price. See, now I'm advertising for you. I was waiting for you to get back. I, you're so good. <laughs> I'm like, look at her go. The internet wiped me off and Joan just came in for the rescue. <laughs> We have kicked my picture on. I thought, what? <laughs> I love that. Thank you. You're so sweet. Yeah, I had to connect to my phone. Um, I I think somebody around the neighborhood is being naughty. And even though it's all password protected, I think somebody is, you know, getting on the interwebs. So um, listen, I'm just going to bring this up. I think everybody kind of gets the gist of what's going on here. Look at how beautiful. This is going to be absolutely gorgeous when it's all done. I'm really excited about that. And I'm going to definitely finish it. And um, But where'd you go, Joan? Um, I can myself so you can do your stuff. <laughs> oh, that, I've never well, I mean, it's going to take me. Yeah, it's definitely going to take me, um, you know, more, more than an hour to get this done just because of the stop and go. But, um, but uh, I will definitely, you know, you get the gist of like, you're just going to keep going till about the end of the book on the large wisdom warrior. That's a, a 21 inch or so you can Google, um, you know, oh, I have an eight inch wrist. How long should my, um, um, beaded wrap bracelet be. Oh my gosh. I'm, oh my gosh. I'm, oh my gosh. I'm, oh my gosh. I'm, oh my gosh. <laughs> Unreal. Unreal. Okay. We got a, we got a mic. Okay. Somebody. We got a, Are you frozen again? Thank you for being here. <laughs> yeah, you're really cutting in and out. Yeah. Well, it sounds like somebody so, is taking over her internet. They it's think like it's funny. <laughs> So if you hear me, I'm going to finish. If you hear me, I'm going to finish. I'm going to finish the wrap. I'm going to finish the wrap. And, um, and that's my story. <laughs> that's my story. <laughs> so are there any questions before we get, um, I get kicked off again? <laughs> aliens, yes. Aliens. aliens. Naughty neighbors. The military base is literally behind me. Like, I'm not even kidding. I don't know if this helps anybody, yeah. but I have found that like with the wrap, I don't like mine really tight. But if I do like, like when I had a seven and three fourths inch wrist, I would make it, what is that? Like 23 and a quarter. And then I would make it another inch. And that way it gave room to cross you know for the button and things so if that helps you know like say if you have a seven inch with right do 21 inches plus another inch or i guess that includes the button and stuff where you could just do 21 inches and the button would make up the rest of it yeah it should make up the rest for sure yeah so just the uh, yeah. weaving part would just be the you know your wrist size right I'm trying this to This is my suggestion for the night. <laughs> oh 
my gosh. I cannot believe how, um, yeah, we've been taken over by aliens for stinking sure. So, uh, that's <laughs> what I said, but I was thinking about using this for a guy's bracelet. Yes. Some beautiful, um, tiger's eye gemstone would be delicious. Some black onyx would be delicious. Um, a dark amethyst would be really, really beautiful. Um, I love amethyst. So pretty, so super pretty, but, um, yeah, I hope I'm not having an echo now on top of everything else. Cause I can't get this thing to shut up. <laughs> oh my goodness. Thank you. Helpful, helpful measurements. Yes. And what else? What else? And thanks Anastasia for subscribing to the Instagram. Yes, and Joan is always holding it down. Parrots and birds and eagles and all. <laughs> oh my God, seriously. Okay. Yeah, okay, so somebody asked about the pricing on the large Wisdom Warrior. I really wish I could get this thing to shut up. <laughs> I don't know how to get off of the iPhone without ending the broadcast. And I don't, I can't do that. Can you figure out how to get rid of the overhead, Joan? I, tr um, I tried and it didn't work. Yeah, it's like literally has a mind of its own right now. But didn't you come on first with your, um, on the screen you're on now? So yep. I thought you came on your overhead last, so you should be able to close it down without shutting everything down. That would be just it like says me. End. It, it doesn't and... say B. No, I mean, just back out of it. Don't hit the end broadcast. Don't hit that. That would shut us down. Just hit your like back button. <laughs> But it's removing me. Oh. Well, don't mess with it because I don't want to. <laughs> okay. Let's just get through this. I, I've i muted <laughs> my phone. <laughs> See, I would just use the back button on my butt phone to get out of it. <laughs> and ladies and gentlemen she is gone <laughs> again <laughs> we see a frozen jewels <laughs> i love that picture <laughs> Well, we lost you all, so um, I hope um, you all have a good evening. I'm surprised that, oh, there, okay. Now we got a frozen laughing, Jewel. Do you, do you see me now? I could see you, but you're freezing up. <laughs> now I'm here. Now your Aww. voice. <laughs> you want to say goodbye? <laughs> Is this alien, Jules? <laughs> Anastasia wants to know if it's your clone. <laughs> Okay. Well, now Jules is gone. So I hope you don't mind if I say goodbye. Um, thanks for joining us. Uh, when you get to the end of your buttons, I mean, you could, when you get to the length you need at the end, just tie it, tie it off right after the last um, bead, you know, tie overhand knot, and then you can figure out what size you'll need. You know, the gaps, there's other tutorials out there and I'll put it in the blog, but um, just figure out the size gap that the button will fit in and then make a um, another knot and then you're done. <laughs> so I hope you all have a good evening and thank you so much for joining us. <laughs> Bye.